Hello. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say, uh, dear friends. My name is Owen Haggai, and I'm the CEO of uh, Intelligent RF and Microsolutions. I'd like to welcome you here today, and uh, thank you for taking the time from your busy schedules to attend our RF and Micro Design Seminar here in Cambridge. I'm very excited to see this seminar has such great response from such a broad cross-section of the UK RF and Micro industry, and that so many people have traveled quite a distance to be here. Some of you, uh, I would say about half of you, are already familiar with our services, but uh, to some this will be our first introduction to you. Uh, so uh, we are very encouraged to have so many great companies represented at our UK Business Launch Celebration event. I wish to thank each and every one of you for choosing to attend. I think we even have a guest from our comp one of our competitors here, so you are all very welcome. <laughs> we have worked hard to create a varied pro program for you, and we hope you find it both technically interesting and enjoyable. Prior to the start of the lectures, I'd like to take this opportunity, opportunity to present our company and activities in a brief. Okay, so in a brief, uh, who we are and what we do. Well, um, we are called uh, Intelligent RF and Micro Solutions. Uh, the R uh, in the middle stands for RF. Uh, basically, RF is our soul and essence uh, at Intelligent, um, all the way from the top management uh, through all the organization. Uh, and let me tell you a few facts about uh, who we are and what we do. This is our nice office uh, near the uh, beach of uh, Tel Aviv. Uh, we are in business um, for um, almost uh, 14 and a half years, established uh, early 2000, uh, about 50 employees uh, strong. Out of them, the uh, vast majority are RF micro uh, engineers like uh, myself. Um, we not only deal with RF and micro, we love RF and micro technology, and uh, we do that with passion. Now, some of you um, may think that uh, we are uh, only uh, a test equipment rental uh, business as this was the easiest part to uh, export into the UK. But uh, to be honest, this is only a small part of our activities. Um, in Intelligent Israel, we have quite a unique business model uh, with five uh, parallel business units. Uh, I would say that our biggest pride is our our FM micro training division, in which we trained almost 600 uh, students, which are basically um, graduates, um, engineers, or uh, even masters um, in their um, uh, engineering uh, profession. Uh, we train them every year in our practical hands-on courses. And I would say that uh, this would be our um, um, most important activity. And this activity, um, we plan to export it to the, to the UK as well next year. Uh, I'm sure you know uh, that um, we have a uh, fairly uh, nice business of uh, test equipment uh, rentals, leasing, and uh, sales, uh, which I would um, uh, describe in short um, soon. Uh, furthermore, we have a representation division that we have just uh, started uh, last year. Uh, we, have, we have here uh, Adrian. Adrian, where are you? Here he is, uh, which is uh, our VP business development. Uh, and we, um, in Israel, represent um, a few companies. Uh, some of those companies uh, are attending in this event, such as Peregrine, PSEMI, such as Lime Microsystems, and uh, IntelliConnect, and we are very happy to have you here. Uh, first of all, we have an engineering services division that uh, provides um, engineering work uh, with um, over 30 engineers which are all placed in different companies through the Israeli industry. I would say that the Israeli RF and micro industry is quite, from what I can see uh, from my uh, limited experience uh, here, uh, it is somewhat similar to the UK industry because um, like Cambridge is a very large and known knowledge center, we do have our own knowledge centers in Israel as well. Uh, and we have uh, some global uh, companies uh, doing RF and micro design uh, in Israel, such as Intel, Broadcom, Qualcomm, and many others. So we outplace engineers to those companies uh, and do design and uh, testing work. And uh, finally, 
uh, we have our, uh, what we call the uh, Ventures Incubator, uh, in which we invest in early stage uh, startups um, that have just started. Uh, we invest the seed money and grow the company uh, in our facility for the first year or so. So this is what we do. Um, you can see a few pictures of our um, uh, very nice classroom in Tel Aviv. Uh, we have a very uh, well-equipped -equip classroom. Uh, we have students from uh, all over the world traveling. We just had a group from Brazil uh, uh, last month, and we had a group from uh, Romania flying over. Um, the uh, training business, uh, as I said, is the, by far the most important business because, in my perspective, because it gets us the um, opportunity to know the end client, to know what they do, uh, to train the people. There is a um, very good connection with the industry after, afterwards. Uh, we offer uh, several training courses um, uh, in Israel. As I said, uh, we plan to launch uh, this activity early next year in the UK. Uh, you can see the uh, training programs in our website. Uh, we did invest more than 50,000 uh, engineering hours uh, in writing down uh, technical material uh, that we are very proud of. Uh, we did sm make a very small and minor mistake uh, writing everything in Hebrew. <laughs> So uh, uh, we are in uh, the middle of the efforts. Uh, we, are, we are now uh, rephrasing everything, writing this uh, in uh, Pinglish, which is Palestine English. And then we are sending the uh, material to um, a UK fluent uh, English speaker to um, have them uh, properly be written. Uh, we also have a very cool um, uh, demo um, uh, station in our uh, facility. Uh, which is um, also known as 4X-Ray 4 India November Tango, 4X4 Intelligent, which is a radio amateur uh, call sign. I'm, I myself uh, am a radio amateur from the age of uh, 13. Uh, and we have a very cool uh, research si uh, system in our facility that receives uh, beacon signals uh, from uh, radio amateur stations, uh, utilizes also remote receivers, also known as reverse beacon receivers, and um, afterwards uh, we mathematically uh, analyze those um, channel samples taken from the HF radio, and uh, we can really demonstrate and uh, get the uh, feeling, the touch uh, of uh, novel concepts such as MIMO, MRC, and uh, other materials. Uh, we have only invested uh, about half a million dollars in this uh, setup uh, for two hours of uh, lesson in our long, long training course. Uh, in test equipment, um, well, uh, test equipment uh, is one of our acti activities. Uh, it is the easiest one to export, so we started as a test equipment rental company in the UK. Uh, we also sell uh, used equipment uh, in the UK, We've sold once, but uh, we plan to sell much more. Um, uh, availability, uh, we would say that, uh, well, we moved, uh, we moved some um, tens of um, uh, items into the UK. We have a small facility in Ealing, London. Um, uh, later on, we would have here alone our um, uh, logistics manager, um, which I know met some of you when he delivered to your door test equipment items. Uh, so I would say that uh, most items up to 26 gig are, should be available in a few days after receiving order. Uh, we would be more than happy to offer you um, a very good offer. I would say uh, in service-wise, um, we consider our, ourselves to be very good. Uh, we have FAEs at the moment from Israel flying all the time to the UK to support. Uh, and uh, we plan to hire uh, local FA FAEs as, as well. Uh, of course, we do also uh, online um, training and online uh, support for the instruments. Uh, not only you can uh, rent uh, or buy in leasing from us test equipment, you can also get accessories. We have a huge inventory of accessories, uh, from uh, directional couplers to mixers, amplifiers, um, almost all the uh, passives of mini circuits, ARA uh, and Vinchels, uh, we have them in stock. We would gladly um, uh, loan them to you with the test equipment free of charge. I know that uh, uh, one of the companies sitting here has um, uh, used this um, quite uh, largely, and we are very happy that uh, you do so. So please feel free uh, to state, yes, I need this and that to go along with the test, test equipment. Uh, I would say that our major strength uh, would be that in test equipment, we can define with you the exact setup, and we can define it to be low cost and economical and straight into the point. 
we are fair in pricing. I wouldn't say that we are the uh, uh, most uh, uh, low-cost company, uh, but we are very, very strong in service. Uh, we also uh, offer asset management services um, at, the, at the time um, being in Israel, but uh, we plan to uh, start this um, also in Europe, in Eastern Europe. Uh, we, we already made steps to begin asset management uh, for test equipment, and we plan uh, in Q2 or 3 next year to start that also, uh, this service also in the UK. Um, some of our complementary services would be um, um, ATE services. Uh, we do own a daughter company named uh, TestView ATE Solutions, uh, which uh, can offer you a complete test system, uh, both in software as well as housing the equipment uh, in, a, in a rack, like uh, this uh, station. This is, I think, an IFF tester we made for a defense company uh, in Israel. So we have this ability. Um, and we would gladly offer this service uh, as a complementary service to the test equipment. Uh, as I said, um, our warehouses are filled with not only test equipment but also accessories. We are moving many of those accessories into our UK uh, facility. So whenever you need test attenuators, DC blocks, mi mixers, you name it, you can get it free of charge. All the non-consumable items are free of charge as loans. Um, for our clients. Uh, in case you want to uh, uh, trade units with us, uh, we would happily do so. Um, in fact, uh, I would say that a large percentage of our business um, is uh, uh, selling new equipment in leasing to clients and um, disposing the old equipment um, uh, on behalf of the clients. We do have a very active eBay store. Uh, that uh, sells um, a few tens of items every month. For example, this unit, an 8564EC uh, Spectralizer, used to be uh, heavily um, uh, used uh, as a door stopper in one of our clients, and they expected to um, uh, have this item sold for somewhere around uh, 5,000 US. This was eventually uh, sold about uh, six months ago at 20,000 US in our eBay store, and I think that was a good price. Uh, they got 80% uh, of the uh, amount, we got 20, so uh, both sides were happy and they used that money for credit for test recommend uh, purchasing and leasing. Uh, we are more than happy to offer this uh, service to you also. Um, in our representation division, we uh, represent a few uh, RF-related uh, companies. Um, three of them have, have uh, delegates here. Uh, we represent uh, Spectrocom, um, Peregrine, Compax, Adesto, Lime Microsystems, Sofimation, Mario Microwave, and IntelliConnect. Uh, both IntelliConnect and um, um, Lime Microsystems have um, some uh, demos in the tables over there. Uh, engineering services. Uh, now, this activity has not begun yet uh, in the uh, UK uh, activity we have at the moment. Uh, however, it is in our roadmap to expand into that also. Uh, in Israel, we, um, we have uh, more than 30 RF and microwave engineers which are outplaced for temp engineering works uh, in different companies. We plan to do so. Uh, I cannot tell you exact, uh, the exact time frame because we, didn't have, we have not decided yet exactly when this is going to happen, but we expect to be able to offer this service also within about a year from today. Um, we have also uh, an in-house ability to develop uh, products uh, for you in, in, a, in a full turnkey uh, solution, or we can hire you uh, some uh, engineers to work for you at your premises. Uh, in our um, Ventures Incubator, uh, we have a few companies we have invested in. We are very open to uh, invest seed money in uh, early stage uh, European companies as well. Uh, up to now, it happens that uh, we have invested uh, mainly in Israeli companies. We have Metricom, which does uh, telemetry uh, modems for smart grid applications, uh, in particular for the electricity market, a very successful company. We have Magnacom, which is uh, a groundbreaking company with uh, some uh, world-class scientists uh, from uh, top companies such as Broadcom, Qualcomm. Uh, they develop a novel uh, modulation scheme that survives um, um, in uh, dignity, uh, power amplifiers with um, uh, AM to AM and AM to PM uh, nonlinearities. 
Uh, we have uh, TestView, which is a small company which does um, services for automation, test equipment automation, including uh, mechanical housing. Uh, we have QRQ. Um, I don't know if there is any radiometer uh, around here, but QRQ in the um, radiometer codes is uh, transmit faster. Uh, this is an HF uh, communications company, uh, which was um, originated from our uh, HF uh, channel research for the training activity. And uh, we uh, are developing HF MIMO modems for um, very fast uh, data links uh, in uh, HF. Uh, and uh, lastly, but uh, not uh, least, we have uh, Ubicam, which, is, um, which started as a service company, uh, but uh, lately they have focused uh, in uh, solutions for interference cancellations for uh, uh, 4G um, base stations. Um, meet the staff, um, that's uh, me over here, Adrian, uh, Avi, Avi, our sales manager, which um, was not able to come. Uh, we were uh, very uh, lucky and uh, honored um, to have uh, Liam as a non-executive uh, director. I'm sure you all know uh, Liam, uh, which is uh, also the CEO of uh, Plexter RF Integration. Uh, he helps us a lot. He, he looks like a very good pivot in the RF industry in the UK, well respected. And thank you very much, Liam, for uh, accepting us and uh, agreeing to work with us. Uh, we are honored. We have Joanne. Uh, Joanne uh, was in contact with you. Uh, I believe, uh, during the emails. Uh, she set the whole event, so thank you very much, Joanne. Um, we have Alon, our logistics person, which would be here uh, at uh, 11. We have Nir, our chief FAE. Say hello, Nir. Uh, chief FAE, which is also um, in charge of the FAE serving the, the UK. And we have uh, Aaron, the uh, asset manager, uh, which couldn't uh, come today. So, um, that's about it. Uh, I would like to start the um, uh, day's lectures. So again, thank you all for coming. We are very, very excited to have you all here. Helen, back to you.